Hey guys, let's get more news about SAN Francisco 49ers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. 49ers signed former Browns DT Jordan Elliott to a two-year deal worth $10 million. NFL Network's Ian Rappaport reported that the San Francisco 49ers are signing former Cleveland Browns defensive tackle Jordan Elliott to a two-year deal worth $10 million. The 6'4", 303-pound lineman is likely the run-stuffing option to replace Arik Armstead. Elliott started all 17 games in 2022 and 14 games this past season for Cleveland. He had four tackles for loss, 2.5 sacks, and 22 total tackles this past season for Cleveland. Elliott was a third-round pick in the 2020 NFL Draft out of Missouri. He had a specific role for the Browns this past year, as 423 of his 466 snaps came as a right defensive tackle. Elliott could also be a replacement for Javon Kinlaw. The 49ers still have Kevin Givens and Sebastian Joseph Day as unrestricted free agents. So, it's unlikely that the team is done adding interior players along the defensive line. As of writing, Javon Hargrave, Elliott, Kalia Davis, and T.Y. McGill make up the 49ers' defensive tackle group. The Browns' 2023 round draft pick Jordan Elliott has signed a contract with the San Francisco 49ers, ending his time in Cleveland. Elliott was starting to make his mark on a Browns defensive front that spiked an improvement in the 2023 campaign. Elliott's first three seasons in Cleveland were primarily developmental. He did not see the field much as he was not quite ready for the NFL level. In year four, all of that changed. Elliott became a true force in the middle of the Browns' defensive line that was much improved and a huge reason why the Browns were so successful in 2023. Elliott appeared in all 17 games for Cleveland and thanks to a handful of injuries, he actually started in a career-best 14 games. He finished with a career-best 2.5 sacks and three tackles for loss. His career in Cleveland finished with 98 total tackles over four seasons. It was time to move on and for Elliott, he could not have landed in a better place. He heads west to join the Super Bowl runner-ups and a defensive line that is one of the best in football. Elliott will not be garnering the lion's share of attention on a defensive line that features Nick Boza and Arik Armstead. He will have an increased role on his new unit as the 49ers experienced a couple of free agency departures. Regardless of what will be asked of him in San Francisco, a fresh start is in order and Elliot has a chance to restart his young career. Will Kyle Yushtik agree to take a pay cut for the 49ers? The 49ers asked both Kyle Yushtik and Arik Armstead to take pay cuts this offseason. Armstead declined, figuring he can make more money on the open market than what the 49ers offered him, and he might be right. Will Yushtik decline their pay cut and test free agency as well? It's easy to see why Armstead made his decision. He was scheduled to earn a whopping $28 million this season, he still has value, even though he's aging and getting injured. Every team needs a three-down defensive tackle who's good against the run and the pass. There's a large market for him, although not at $28 million per season. Yushtik is different. Yushtik is two years older than Arms Reed, and Yushtik is a fullback. Not many teams even use fullbacks. So if he refuses to take a pay cut and tests the open market, the market for him might be extremely thin. He might do better taking whatever lowball offer the 49ers have presented him. But there's one potential ace up Yushtik's sleeve, the Dolphins. Their head coach is Mike McDaniel, who was a 49ers offensive assistant from 2017 to 2021. Meaning he drew up plays for Yushtik for five seasons. And McDaniel is one of the most creative offensive coaches in the NFL arguably more creative than Kyle Shanahan. And the Dolphins play in Florida, a tax-free state which means they could offer Yushtik exactly what the 49ers offer him, and Yushtik would profit more on the Dolphins. I'm not saying the Dolphins even want Yushtik, but he probably should text McDaniel just to find out.
It wasn't a surprise when we found out the San Francisco 49ers asked Arik Armstead to take a pay cut. The bigger shock was Armstead saying no, which would lead to his potential release. Armstead isn't the only player the Niners have approached to take a pay cut. According to Adam Kaplan of Pro Football Network, the same was asked of fullback Kyle Yushtik, 49ers cap space causing problems for Kyle Yushtik. The team has approached fullback Kyle Yushtik, an eight-time Pro Bowl, 2016-2023, selection and first-team All-Pro last season, for a salary reduction for the 2024 season, a league source said. Both sides have not reached an agreement on this issue, so his situation remains up in the air going forward. Yushtik is on the books for a non-guaranteed $5.75 million base salary for this season along with $400,000 in per-game roster bonuses. Yushtik, who was originally selected in the fourth round of the 2013 NFL Draft by the Baltimore Ravens, signed a four-year, $21 million deal with the 49ers in March of 2017. He then signed a five-year, $27 million extension in March of 2021. Yushtik has a difficult job. He's the player running in motion nonstop before the ball is snapped and rarely gets a target. He does a lot of the dirty work that allows Christian McCaffrey to spring free or Brock Purdy to stay upright in the pocket. Finding the appropriate valuation for that role is next to impossible. Then, you factor in Juice is 33, but still has two more years on his contract, and you can see why the team approached him about his contract. While no agreement has been made, as Kaplan pointed out, releasing Yushtik would save the team $4.9 million this season and $6.2 million in 2025. A restructure would save $2.3 million. Ezekiel Elliott's latest report clears path for SAN Francisco 49ers. The second day of NFL free agency is underway after a boatload of moves across the NFL fell through. There are capable running backs on the market and one potential option would intrigue SAN Francisco 49ers fans, Ezekiel Elliott. According to Christopher Price of Boston Globe Sports, Elliott has not spoken to the Patriots about a 2024 return and the SAN Francisco 49ers should pounce. Price said things could change in the future, but the Cowboys should bring him back to town with the void in the backfield. While Elliott isn't the same player he once was, he's still a powerful runner with strong hands as a receiver. The 28-year-old can be a good defender on a running back committee and has shown that in 2023 with the Patriots. He finished with 642 rushing yards, 313 receiving yards and five total touchdowns. That production could increase if he returns to Dallas due to his familiarity with the organization and playing in a potent offense. In his seven-year career with Dallas, Elliott recorded 8,262 rushing yards, 2,336 receiving yards and 80 total scores. The Ohio State product could be a low-cost signing to boost the backfield. The Cowboys have one of the best squads in the league and have a real chance of reaching Super Bowl 59. They currently have the seventh-best odds in the NFL to win it all at plus 1,700. Go to FanDuel Sportsbook, claim your sign-up bonus, and take advantage of these odds to bet on the Cowboys. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation Ezekiel Elliott? Leave your opinion in the comments.